The Iranian president has been on a two-day visit to Switzerland. One of the main topics of conversation, the U.S. decision to violate the Iran nuclear deal by pulling out. Now the U.S. wants countries to boycott Iranian oil as part of stronger international sanctions. But President Hassan Rouhani has appeared to threaten oil exports from other Middle Eastern countries if the U.S. pushes ahead. It is incorrect and unwise to imagine that someday all producer countries will be able to export their surplus oil and Iran will not be able to export its oil. Iranian officials have threatened to disrupt oil shipments in the past. To do so, they would target the Straits of Hormuz. That's a major shipping lane. But it's also a small stretch of water between Iran to the north and Oman on the Arabian Peninsula to the south. At its narrowest point, there are just 55 kilometres between the two pieces of land. 20% of the world's oil passes through here. I don't think Iran will ever need to really uh, exercise this threat. We have to remember Iran is not the only country that is upset with U.S. pressure on OPEC or the idea of uh, the oil exports not coming from Iran. Remember, the OPEC countries, the whole reason a lot of these countries are in crises in the first place is because of the U.S. shale oil industry, which brought prices down in the first place. The U.S. has previously warned countries they must stop all imports from November or face sanctions from America. No exceptions. Our focus is on getting as many countries importing Iranian crude down to zero as soon as possible. We are also working with oil market participants, including producers and consumers, to ensure market stability. Iran has warned any boycott of their oil industry could push prices higher. It currently provides around 2% of global supply, or 3 million barrels a day. The U.S. is already concerned about rising prices. At the weekend, U.S. President Donald Trump called Saudi Arabia's King Salman and said they'd agreed that the Saudis would boost production. But there's no sign that prices are dropping, particularly as the global economy is growing and demand for energy is up. India, South Korea, Turkey, all U.S. allies are major importers of Iranian oil. They might not be able to switch providers quickly or even want to. The Trump administration would then have to decide if sanctions on them would follow. The other signatories to the nuclear deal say they still support it and are looking at ways to save it. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.